the co-main event of the evening. Out of the blue corner of Mick Martial Artist, holding a professional record, 53 and one half pounds, fighting out of Amsterdam, heavyweight contender in the world. And now introducing his opponent, fighting. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at two and presenting the former UFC heavyweight Free of charge, Herb D. Herb D. With this most anticipated third meeting, there he is, Wiser. This bug's for you. That's his new opening, I guess. <laughs> You're three in the world coming in. Interesting how Overeem's standing. Hands down low. Counter. Maybe hands low so we can even telegraph those shots. Well, Pretty also, smart. though, the hands low, being a little cautious, sitting on the outside. Second oh, oh, great punch. Overing has in Jackson's. It's really transformed right. He always ends up in Albuquerque to put the finishing touches on the camp. And this is interesting. We, we haven't seen him this patient though. And that was his downfall in that fight. I haven't seen any of his signals. Two plus minutes gone by here. Round one of a possible three. Twice. or freeze him and then throw your combination. Get him to flinch a little bit. Overeem continues to switch up the footwork here. Quince is making error against him. <laughs> are so brave. Both times Verdum has gotten clipped. He has immediately pressed forward into range. Coming in. Out of the way of that Verdum jab offering. Less than 90 seconds now here early, Brian. That seems to be the strategy. Boy, and he's excellent when he really puts the striking game. Is really putting together excellent two and three strike combinations. Looking to lure Verdum in and pot shot him. And, and now Verdum is outlanding him. Verdum with the front kick to the body. Yeah, not a lot. So the 06 meeting went to oh. Verdum by submission. He caught him again with that right hand. All right, five minutes in the can. Tonight's corner can brought to you by DashNutrition.com. Yeah, we're going the first round. Good. We got to watch you in so you can count. Step a little bit more. Your kicks are good. Two here of a possible three. Brian, any major takeaways from either corner there after us? He kicks, he wants to kick more. Here he comes a flying side kick again. He's that close. He may think he won that round, but man, when the total strike count is seven. He didn't round land anything that no. was comparable. But why leave his head that the right. way to win this fight is by knockout. He clipped him in the left hand there. The body, good takedown defense by Overeem, and Fabricio oh. drops down the guard. Yeah, he, he stayed there with Frank Mir. He stayed there with Stefan Strude. Had wasn't afraid to be on top. Let's see if it... If Verdum can make him pay for it. Verdum on the beat, arguably the best heavyweight ever. Smart move there by Over. A legit, multiple time world champion in jiu-jitsu. And he's in California. Mauricio oh, with the right hand yeah. on the top. Alistair showing him that. That's by Overeem as well. How long to hang out? Treat Fabricio's body like it's on fire. Just right. Jump out of his world. Small cut opened up on the bridge of the ground. It was a nasty uppercut. And then the knee to the body as well. That one certainly landed significantly. There it is again. Oh, so agile, too. I mean, you forget how well he moves for a big guy. Non-stop combinations like against Travis Brown. This, this. He said he's a very different fighter than the first two times they fought. Both guys, very flat. For now it's just pops him with a jab. Verdum sees that, maybe throws a right high kick. The hands are low. But he's... See, Alistair's looking at pot shot. He's looking at you. And almost knocked out Miocic with as well in that title fight. He just plants and drives forward quick. Let's take a look. Here's kick to the body. 
Overeem would eventually get out of there. And there's that beautiful uppercut that stunned him. Left hook that he threw as well. Doing an excellent job pot-shotting and then followed up with this screen for a moment. Yeah, good, solid, stiff jam. Every time he comes to the chip, now let's go show our best. That's the best he has. Now let's show him around. Alistair Overeem, Fabrizio Overdome. Massive fiber, but huge, huge five minutes coming up here. Yeah, and then Fabrizio Verdum won that first round by 10-9. Couldn't call it 10-8. No. But clearly he won it by he didn't. But it really highlights absolutely. Especially Nevada. Yeah, mm -hmm. It's just awful for the no. found a home. No, again, though, he's at his best here. There's a nice knee. Absolutely. We're here in round three. Yeah, I mean, again, we really have no idea who won round round two. Right. To it now. There's a bit of fatigue showing. It's a bit more flat-footed. He's got to be careful. Oh, he oh, slipped out. Slipped wow. right out of it. For anybody. The right draw. I'm not sure Overeem is totally recovering no. here. No. By Cavallo. Pulls over him on his back. Big takedown for Fabrizio. This is how Stipe finished him. He's hurt. I mean, Alistair could be in real trouble here. He won round one. It feels like this will win him round three. And he's looking. And there he goes. Even more dominant position. Potentially. Uh, I think he's in a good position. I think what he should try to do is pop. He's clearing his head. Guards wide open. Look to pay the time to pay. Not a lot of time here. And he just runs the risk. If he rides this out, one. And that ream one round two. And, and obviously, back to your your point you made on the 10-9 system, right? This has been by far. The hammer fist by Verdun here down the stretch. Not much time. What you were looking for in that third and final round. The question is, will it be enough? Brought to you by Budweiser. This Bud's for you. Knee on the chin. Legs give out for Overeem. And Fabricio jumps. See the rubber leg Overeem moving up to the cage. And Fabricio really never got anything big off yeah. after that. And I expected after that to land one more knee and finish that fight. Portuguese commentary job back. Let's get to the fight summary brought to you by PerformanceInspire.com. So, again, not a lot of numbers to digest here, but the knockdown from out for Mike Cavallo, Fabricio Verdun. Tier, the official decision is brought to you by Metro PCS, who brings you close. Remains the heavyweight contender here in just a matter of moment. Meetings. Here now, Bruce Buffer with that decision. The judges score cars for a decision. The judges score the contest. Alistair! All right, I'm here with the winner, Alistair Overeem, um, for Fabricio. What were your thoughts? At the great fight, a great adversary. My thoughts about the fight in the third round that perhaps him knocking you down could have won. I had the first two rounds. She just spoke, but a lot of respect to her. Yeah, that's it. Well, congratulations. The hard work continues. I fought Steve before the heavyweight belt. Boom. Congratulations. Alistair Overeem, ladies and gentlemen.